Damn, Ron, you got everything in that thing. Mm -hmm. Everything but her mind. Uh... <laughs> what hey guys, it's the Cozy Four. We're back to watch more Korra Book Two. Episode, episode ten. Episode ten. Nine. The episode nine. Right. The the guide. The guide. Woo! Ooh. We just saw the beginnings, part one and two. Well, we didn't just. Well, we see didn't. It. It's been a fucking. You while. guys saw it more recently than we did. It's been Lucky. a minute, but those were some epic. Epi that, that's yeah. That's some of my favorite stuff I've seen in both shows. Dude, when I was rewatching that, like editing it, I'm like, this is like an epic. This is a movie. This is like. <laughs> There's oh, so many of these standalones. It was do. such heavy lore drop out of nowhere. Like, well, it's was, so unexpected. There's also a lot of confusion with, like, the lore drop we saw in Avatar and the lore drop we saw oh, here. I, don't, I, I think, like... Especially with, like, the, I feel like the, the, the lion... Whatever, the sea... Whatever, the turtle. The lion turtle. turtle. So, so, what it came down to, as I remember in the discussion, is, like, what came first? The spirits, the spirit animals of those of yeah. those things or, or the <laughs> lion turtles <laughs> themselves? <laughs> mm -hmm. I The think, lion turtle. The the dragon the spirit of the dragon taught Juan the 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 dancing dragon thing yeah. remember yeah. so that, that was... means like let's say maybe the spirit of the badger mole knows some earth bending techniques maybe mm -hmm. the spirit of so maybe the animals it, so already so the, knew how to do so then that. The, then the 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 fucking turtle lines were the first ones then right. It, the, the, they they can bestow abilities upon people yeah. but yeah. but each line turtle only has control of one element. Yeah, because, or okay. We heard there were dozens. There were dozens though, mm, but they all. But these dozens could be numerous, like fire and whatever. Right? Yeah, there could be. Okay, so I, yeah, yeah, I, I liked it because it filled in gaps for Avatar also. Because I do remember in the finale, like when the lion turtle restores his chi, like that was really cool. But yeah. I, but I always did wonder. I was like, what? How? Like what? It like, makes sense that it, yeah, not the now abilities. Yeah, now it makes sense that so it, it it's cool that it's still answering questions from and from it, Avatar also. It definitely made more sense to us now because like when we first saw you know the fucking uh, turtle lion or whatever the fuck like it was an island and we were like oh, <laughs> fuck you know what I mean but then like now from watching like the beginnings it, it was fucking carrying millions of people yeah you like know whole what I mean? it was a whole city. Like it was yeah. just nuts you know there was just like lion I mean I bet the like air temple and all that stuff it's like a moving city. Um, let's we'll start. I was going to say something, I forgot. Oh, just a real quick aside. We confused Janora, who's the eldest of Tenzin's daughter. Yeah. She's the one that, like, saw the statue in the beginning of the okay. season. We, when when they lost Iggy and she was with the baby Appas, that was a different, that was the other daughter. Gotcha. Yeah. So they still haven't really went back to explain her her connection to that statue. And I think, oh, was that really? statue one? Was that statue one or no? No, I don't know. Man, I, I just, really I, I don't know. Like. Man, remember when she was walking Wait. through the statues and then like she heard like a whisper or something, yeah. or something happened? And the statue lit up. It was when she turned yeah. the southern lights. What, wasn't the statue, wasn't there also like something around it, like water? Like it was also. Yeah, it could have been it, a water it, it was also like, it was like, yes. So maybe. So maybe it was Juan. No, Juan is not a water. I don't know. I don't know. Fine. I mean, Juan. It could have been like all the elements. Yeah. Like he's... Yeah, we got Pabu. We got uh, with the with the with the jersey, rocking the jersey. <laughs> <laughs> that is what he sounds like. Do you remember when he had the haircut, the bowl in, and that one? No. Never mind. Right. Oh, yes, I'm so right. ready. Come on, guide me into this episode. Right. Nicola. <laughs> Nickelodeon. <laughs> this is Jay Major's Slap Time Live. There was. Yeah, it was. One. Yep. Remember Harmonic Convergence? Oh, yeah, the planets align. But can he prove it? Told you it was a guide. <clears throat> oh, it's Air Temple. Oh, what the hell is that? Gotcha. Bunny butterfly? It's a spirit. Furryfoot! What the hell? Right, you know? A bunny fly? Furryfoot. Really? It looks like a spirit to me. Why? It's a bunny fly. It does look kind of spirity. Yeah. What? Bunny flies? Bunny butterfly. Were you playing with someone? <gasps> oh, just they were spirits. Imaginary friends. She can see spirits. <laughs> bunny uh, flies? What? Uh, what? She has some kind of connection. Maybe that statue unlocked something. I yeah, she's always had it. I remember Iroh had connection to the spirits. Oh, Rob, and how did you know where to find us? Tenzin's itinerary. We went over it like a hundred times before we left Republic City. See, this is why schedules are important. <laughs> I feel like, man, she doesn't, they don't know anything about what's going on. Just tell us everything. 
everything? Mm-hmm. Four and a half minutes I later. I opened a spirit portal at the South Pole, but then I <laughs> that guy and wanted to take it. kind of like weird, because that's like her family, but not her family. This is honestly a good This is a good catch-up, yep. And now I need to close it again. I knew this would happen. <laughs> <laughs> like specifically all those things. <laughs> that was great, Tenzin. I will help you. Yay. Today we enter the spirit world. Nice. Yay. Oh shit. Uh, maybe you Finally. should ask Janora for help. Hey man, there. She's seeing the bunny flies. Well, they don't. They don't. When you fail to She's not communicating that. Meanwhile, these three have been staring at this Eska portal. Eska and Deska. Good. Because I'll need your help to open the northern portal. I believe there is another way. Why does he keep going back and forth whether he can do it or he needs the avatar or not? <laughs> there it is. The northern portal. I thought they just traveled through. Th oh, okay. Whoa. Yeah, yeah. They go on the other side. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's making that propaganda movie. Where he committed a sexual assault and Hello? kissed the actress. And the <laughs> not funny. Nuck tuck. Sounds like you've had a pretty busy week. Maybe you just need to relax. Okay, Asami. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, like, are they like back together? Are you two? <gasps> You're dating again? What? I know, it's no. fucked up, Bolin. That's crazy. <laughs> just left a week ago. Guys, listen to me. Varric is up to I no hate their so many stories. <laughs> exactly like the one I found at the cultural center. Yeah, let it go, Mako. Let it go. Man. Ah, no, I'm too not trusting. going to let it go. Too trusting. Mako's about to get killed. I think he knows too much. Yep. Barrett's been looking for you. Uh, Fuck off! Uh, obviously, Barrett like, has a little spot in there. He's talking all loud, loudly and shit. Like, they can yeah. probably hear him, like... Down the hall. By this very garden is where my father so apparently, met Guru Patik. Guru Patik! <laughs> Are you in the spirit world? I would be if Milo could ring his bell at the appropriate intervals. Milo. Uh, did I do Wait, is he going <laughs> spirit world too? No, he's, no, he's just he's trying. I don't think Tenzin really knows how to do it that well. Yeah. Oh, look, look, the mountain. Yeah, it's Aang. Was that? Aang. I don't think that was Aang. That, that was, was Aang. Aang. That was Aang. No, I think that was the other airbender. Dude, that was Aang. Aang. I don't think so. Whatever. Kaya, Correct him. You set it up wrong. This isn't going to work. I'm... Well, the moment's ruined. <laughs> <laughs> he he just it. can't get into yeah. his seat. Oh, look. And Korra, um, Korra can't see. Wow. The spirits are circling Korra. They're like, they're interested in her. Tell what's up, fam. Where are they going? Flies. Where are you going with no? Come back, furry foot. What did you just say? Hey, Janora, what are you chasing? The magic dragon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Kaya, I got fucked up. She knows what's up. See, that's straight that's, up. That looks like Aang. That's not That could be any air <laughs> Like, <laughs> the other all one was Whatever. Feel the energy of the universe. Ooh, okay. Let's do this. I feel it. Cora, really? I'm trying to concentrate. Uh, damn, does I don't think this location is going to work. What okay, the hell? He can't do it. On with you. How did you first get into the spirit world? Let's never try that. Yeah, yeah, he's like, well, I never. well. <laughs> actually, I've never been into the spirit world. <laughs> the music. <laughs> Dude. Wow. Everybody. Guys, I heard the next episode is where the student, the other studio takes back over, the original studio. This is the last episode of this style of animation. I don't know if you've noticed, it's still the same, like, mm -hmm. yeah, budget-saving techniques. Janora, is yeah. there something you want I to I knew she Cora? knew what was going on. Janora. I knew it. She is too young and untrained to have any knowledge about Man, spiritual all people need to be shit. My spirit friends showed me. It's okay, you can show yourselves. Whoa. For real? Janara is one badass cool yep. girl now. Butter bunnies. Bunnies! Cool. <laughs> Actually, they're dragonfly bunny spirits. Oh, oh, God. God. Oh, God. I gave the wings the dragonfly wings. I guess I've always kind of had a connection with spirits. <laughs> That's awesome, Janara. <laughs> Are they here to help? She was most like Aang, I, I told you. you to go I knew it. There. I don't know. The yes, spiritual shit. energy is historically strongest near the temple. No offense, but I'm guessing the spirits have actually been Tenzin to the spirit by world, the so I'm going to follow them. If we need to go to the Tenzin world, we'll <laughs> <gonna> call you. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> salty. Yeah, Tenzin is super salty. <laughs> 
Join me. Together we can open this portal. Nah, it's that come simple? On. I don't think so. Yeah, like if it was that simple, why haven't people already done that? Yo, yeah, y'all messing with the spirits, that's fucked up. Yeah, this is gonna Where cost they get this water. Bit. Yeah, you can't be doing that oh, shit. Dude, yeah, stop anything, it! Right? Clearly not nice working. Try. You were the most just... flip floppity. Why would you think it was that easy? <laughs> like, you just throw water at it? And now Varric is pure evil. Go ahead. Oh, Make my day. The only thing I want to torture is this pesky foot fungus. <laughs> Why is that shit? Oh! Ah! Yay. I've always wanted to do that. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Walk across hot curtain. Yeah. Working. We need you. Me, Asami, Bolin, no, we're all on the same team here. We want you to join us. You wouldn't want anything to happen to Asami, would you? Threat. I mean, I heard Threat. you and her were kind of I want your help to Oh my god, he's evil. evil. You're the lucky one. You actually got to meet the first Avatar. I know about a lot of Avatars, so but I don't know anything so about him. Mm. Is it even a him? Or is it a her? <laughs> is, it, is it her him? Avatar One. Oh, yeah. He mm. was amazing. He was. The Avatar is part spirit? Of course. Makes so much Just sense, like dude. The Makes so much sense. What's the bridge? Statue? When did this happen? It was on the solstice. Yep, see, it was right That's when she opened the, the portal. That's why that, that statue lit up. Whoa. <laughs> We're here. Oh, uh, that was Avatar. Uh, she wasn't in Avatar State when that statue lit up. This site has been neglected for many years. A cleansing ceremony will help strengthen its connection to the spirit world. Okay, cool, cool. See, so Tenzin's knowledge does come in. You cleanse the area of the only spirits that want to help us, <laughs> and you scared away Boom. <laughs> No, you see, I think no, that seems like he's doing a good job. Yeah, I think he's Whatever. actually gonna do something now. Oh, this bad juju? Really? It's like the exorcist laying some shit out, man. <laughs> They're just like bat spirits, evil bat spirits. Yep. The purple is always dark. Yeah. Do that one thing to relax them. Do the Unalak thing, yeah, you can yeah, do it. Yeah, They're yeah. just bats. Shit. So if you neglect the area for too long, the spirits just turn evil like Vestra there. Whoa. Whoa! Oh! There it is. She used it with water. There it is. Smart. <laughs> Holy crap. Nice. Amazing. Fucking beautiful. That's the avatar. That's I think that's, Ooh. wow. I think that's the first time she really blew them away. Yeah. Blew me away just now. Damn. Nice job, course. Wow. Oh, yeah, it's, it's like, it's like fresh now. Everything yeah. you've done was meant to help me. I am so sorry for turning my back on you as my mentor. I need you now more than ever. Good. I won't let you down. Yeah, Dad. Yeah. That was really hugs. good. That was really fucking good. <laughs> I think that's what Tenzin wanted. Oh, they're all about to enter it together? No. Yeah, that's his apartment. That's straight up an apartment, bro. Hi. Sex. Uh -oh. You seem so agitated. Get your hand off my shoulder, woman. Uh-huh. I'm a man. I have these tendencies. Remember? We had our first date there. I swear to God. Wow. Maybe I'll get my mind off things. Girl. Damn. Hey, Mako. Hope we didn't interrupt you two lovebirds. No, yeah, these two are dirty, aren't they? Well, looky what I found. Get the fuck out. Hey, he planted yes. that shit. No, that's, you know, that's good. Thieves. You're under arrest. Seriously? None of that is mine. Damn. What's a triple threat? Always He used to be a triple threat? threat? This has to be a mistake. No. He's it's already maybe, the news. Because he knew about, he knew no, the he, Well, yeah, maybe, but these two are dirty for sure. That guy, he's literally a mustache twirling villain. He's <laughs> twirling his mustache in the last reaction. <laughs> It's Varric. This is all Varric. Lynn, what the fuck up. is wrong with you? Yeah. Lynn's gonna follow up though, she's a cop. Fuck. Varric. <laughs> that fire fairy still goes pretty I think Asami knows now that it is Varric, because why would. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You in the what? spirit <laughs> world? <laughs> no, I am not. <laughs> And stop bugging me! Oh, that's cool. I think Janora was meant to guide the Oh avatar. my god. Janora will not enter the spirit world. Aunt Kaya is right. I can guide Korra into the oh spirit world. Oh my god. I'll be alright. That must feel like shit to him. It is Perhaps bruising I will his never ego. have the connection with spirits like I always wanted. But your daughter does. Like my father wanted me to have. It's okay, Daddy. 
I'm proud of you. Go. Close the portal. We'll wait here and keep your body safe till you return. Oh, damn. Damn. Damn, the next, uh, maybe the next episode is going to be that. Oh my god, and the new, the, 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 Who the, fucking saw this shit happening? Yeah. The original studio is going to take over for the next one. Oh. This, this episode, yeah. oh my god. Oh. Plot twist. He's talking to Vatu. I have failed you, Vatu. He's talking. You have not failed me. He's talking to Vagina? Yet she has just entered the spirit world. Why? So you've been ah. working for Robin the whole time? Damn. What a son of a bitch. Man, so he's just what? been working for Robin the whole time? Or did he like just find out about this him? Was a whole no, clear, that, trick. that looked like he was. I mean, he was he's saying, been talking I to him, man, you, bro. Robba. He been talking to him. Okay. He hasn't talked to him, right? Yeah, I, I enjoyed to. this episode, but I have some issues with the overall season up to this point. So what? for you guys talk. Well, just with certain characters, but I, I thought it was a great episode. Yeah, I just I, like. Go ahead. Um. Yeah. I mean, the whole twist at the end. He's been working for Rabba the whole time. Genora entering the spirit world. That's that looked so that cool. That was yeah. Cool. I do think, yeah, I think you might be right. Maybe Rava when he break. I don't know. Rava, he, is he? He's trapped in the tree. Or Rava something? is the light. That no, Batu. I'm sorry, Batu, Batu. Batu, I meant Batu. Batu is trapped in the tree. Yeah. So Holy maybe shit. maybe he will fuse with. Maybe he needs a. No, he can't get out vessel. of the tree. Man, we should just do this from the beginning. He's gonna escape. Yeah, because. Obviously, if you're looking at it from Vatu's perspective, you see that Rava beat him last time using the help of like combining with the human. So yeah. he's like, "Why yeah. can't I do the same thing?" Because yeah. he's stuck in a tree, though. Rava put him in there. How did he establish connection with Unalak? Is my question. Unalak is just like happens to be a bad dude who who could get into the spiritual. Well, world. Unalak was always practicing like spirits. the spirits and whatnot. Yeah. Maybe he always had that hate in him after you know the whole Man, tribal hey, thing. He came so he was Vatu, a spirit to Vatu, Vatu, something about Vatu got to one, bro. No, yeah, Unalak was I mean, planning this shit. Yeah, Vatu's powerful. I mean, he's, yeah, no, Unalak, maybe. He tricked him. Yeah, man. But Unalak he tricked has him been too, bro. He's he been interested like in, him. yeah, he's been interested in the spirit, so he, I'm sure he's been to the spirit world a lot, and through exploring, he probably came across Vatu. And then. Or maybe he. Uh, and then Vatu brainwashed him from there. No, know? he intentionally went to um, Vatu, maybe. too, because, like, yeah, maybe. he had the whole tribal issue thing, remember? Yeah. So. Man, that was, I don't know. That was good. I don't, but like, I feel bad for Tenzin. Just, just because like his young, young, young daughter, young, way younger than him daughter was able to enter the spirit world despite his studying and practice and everything. But, That's gotta hurt your I ego. Feel, but then again, Jinora was at the right place at the right time with the statue and the solstice and like, maybe that. That, that That's not, is that what made her? She said she always felt a connection though. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. I feel bad for Tenzin both ways, in two ways, because... A, he was on vacation with his family, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and then Cora just comes out of nowhere <laughs> and is like, hey. There's a civil war. This is There's what happens. This is what happened. He missed out, motherfucker. Like, he's like, damn, man. This is what happens when I'm on. This is going to happen when I'm happen. not on vacation. This is what happened. I feel for Tenzin, bro. I feel I for him, bro. This episode. Like, I feel he, like I'm Tenzin sometimes. He caught some L's, bro. Think about it. His vacation got ruined, and then he got super excited. He's like, yes, we're going to spirit world. And he's been training for this shit. Like, he just said, I read books, I did this, I did that. Everything. And then at the end of the day, like you were saying, his little daughter comes out and she's the one to, like, have it all for him. It's like... Maybe it's skip the generation. I mean, yeah, man. It's, it's like... It's like, for example, like... It's, I mean, it's never gonna happen for me, but like... Back, let's just say I, I'm a good... Bat, I, I'm a, I'm a, I play basketball, okay? <laughs> I'm good at playing basketball, all right? It's whatever. I'm good at it. It's whatever. I'm, I can shoot the threes. But then there's Michael Jordan. That motherfucker, I'm never gonna be good, good at him ever my whole entire life. Like, I can sit there and I can study basketball. I can, like, you know, run all the fucking laps I wanna run. I can do whatever I can do. You know what I mean? Try my best to be as good as Michael Jordan, but I'm never gonna be that good. Well, I don't know. That's how, don't he, know. That's how he got good. That's how he got to be Michael Jordan. Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I, I know what you're saying. No, no, <laughs> it makes sense. I know in this case, also, it's kind of like Aang had a stubbornness to him, too. So it was cool to see the similarities. Like, I don't know, I remember, like, Aang wouldn't go to sleep before the Black Sun invasion, and, like, Katara and all that, people had to, like, tell him, like, calm down. I don't know, he, he carries a heavy burden, like, he thinks he has to do this, like, his, like, Aang taught me, like, he, he wanted me to go in, like, it was his dream, and, like, you know, I don't like, know. 
He even felt bad that he couldn't teach like core any of the spirit bending shit. Mm -hmm. You know what like, I mean? But that wasn't like meant for her to learn though. This is only happening because of Ulog. But, but you gotta understand, in his head though, he has been doing this. He feels like he was meant to do this shit. And now the call is here and he's supposed to do it. And he's just failing every minute of the way. The way that he's supposed to think he's supposed to make things go right. And it's not him. It's his kid that's making it go. You know what I mean? It's yeah. just. I get it. They're just taking it too hard, I feel. Um, I kind of take back what I said about the issues. So I was going to bring up Lynn. Because <clears throat> I remember like hearing that like her character kind of gets assassinated. But. And I was gonna say I had a problem with it, but I don't Lin? think so. Who's Lynn? Lynn uh, Bayfong. Oh, Spider okay. Lynn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But she yeah, yeah. get, like. She, um. Uh, like, she was just doing her job, following up, you know what I mean? Even though if it was a plant, and even if those two subordinates are shady as fuck, which they obviously 100% are. are. Like In Lynn's perspective, you don't know what Mako's doing. I mean, he's probably fucking around with the Avatar or something, has these detonators. I don't know. I'm just arresting him and bringing him in for now. Lynn is kind of like that no-nonsense type person. I would believe she'd do that. Yeah. So I don't think they completely, like, rewrote her character or anything from last season. Second, though, I will say Unalak is, like, the most flip-flopping, <laughs> weirdest, weirdly written villain. Like, I liked yeah. him a lot better in the earlier parts of this season for some reason. Oh, yeah, he was so cool and nice and shit. And, like, now now he's just straight, like... Douche. Yeah, and, and he, they went back and forth three times. First... Like, Korra, like, he was like, I need Korra's help opening the portal. And then Korra was like, okay, like, well, what if I don't help you? And he was like, turns out I don't need your help opening the portal. Mm -hmm. And then Eska and Desna, he was like, hey, I need you to get Korra. And they're like, why? And it's like, turns out I do need her help opening the portal. He's like, okay, <laughs> she's wrong. dead. And then he's like, okay, wait, I think I just figured out a way to open the portal without, like, what? Four <laughs> times? Four times? He's just desperate, dude. He's yeah, desperate yeah, for him to get it. Desperation. Like, he just wants yeah. that shit open. And he thought he could, like, he's, open Because he's working for Batu, and Batu's like, if you, I mean, Batu's got to have some kind of, like, consequence, because he's like, you haven't failed me yet. And mm -hmm. I don't know. Again, if he thought he could open with bending, though, like, hello, you're in the spirit yeah, world. Yeah, like, what well, you just... You yeah. are in the spirit goddamn world. He's like, I know how to do this. You just water bend at it. No. And then, I mean, nobody's tried it yet, no. so let's just let's just go see what happens, you know? I'm glad <laughs> Eska took her brother away. I thought she was going to listen and stuff, but no. She obviously... she know, You know where her loyalty to Planet says. That was cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm worried about... Uh, Unalak leading Korra directly to where... Vatu is and her accidentally releasing him or something. I'm just because scared. obviously he. I can't. mean, Vatu's coming out. I mean, we know he's going to escape. Or her accidentally opening the portal. I mean, I, I mean, <gasps> Unalak is going to become. What if? Dark. What if? No. Denora. Oh. Becomes a bad avatar. That would have been, nah, I could nah. I could see Janora maybe letting Batu. Oh come out on, you guys know. just have no imagination. No, that would that that, that would that would just be really fucked maybe if, if that had happened. Then then she'd have to fight her. Cause yeah. they're like, we'll be okay. No, I I could see Janora maybe somehow inadvertently like letting. Man, Batu they get her no little kid. They the said show. she was always connected to the spirit. She always felt a connection. Bro, her body. Yeah, they wouldn't the best, hurt her. But her body's maybe... probably the best body to freaking be in. Ah, you guys are. Yeah. Saying it. And she's an man. airbender. Yeah. yeah maybe he. Yeah. Maybe they, they could her. defeat Vachi without. Nobody said anything about hurting her. But yeah, they like... could. They could defeat Vachi without killing. She's gonna come back Avatar. Watch, know, watch, 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 so. watch. Oh, well, so. you guys have zero imagination. Like, I don't see it. I, just, I don't. I just don't see it. I could see her being a plot device to let him out somehow. But As an aside, again, it's just crazy how Rava is, like, the spiritual side of the app. Like, all the bending that Juan learned was on his own. It has nothing to do with the the light. Like when yeah. the avatar lights up, that was all just like Rava, Rava. the spiritual side. So like. I don't know, maybe the fact that he had learned all those elements and then fused with Rava, mm -hmm. that's how each avatar is just, when the, when Rava's reincarnated into them, they have the ability to learn all those elements because of Rava's spirit in them. That, that yeah, but... Yeah. I don't know, dude. Anyway, sorry, I'm just kicking. No, no, that was a good point. Yeah, yeah this, was, let's, let's, this, was, uh, this was a good episode. I did not... Fuck. Not, what do you think about right. Bolin, Mako, Asami, that bullshit? I was, I was, that's why I was saying fuck, story. fucking Mako Oh yeah, man, I hate, I really hate their <coughs> whole love triangle. Mako, you're, god damn, man. Bolin's right, they you just, just stuck. You should have just, like, stuck up with, the, with, with, with fucking Asami the whole entire time. No, you know what I mean? Just, just, uh, it just makes me so mad. <laughs> it makes me so, so mad. They should have went for it, man. And then Bolin over here, man, just, 
I cannot. How is he what not bowling? How ball? is he not seeing what's happening? How is he blind? Why does he not believe him? I don't get, get it. A girl. I don't get it. Get I mean, a girl. I I mean, look at Bowen now. He's inflated ego. He's Bowen. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, that is, he's, he's, he's got his big are, ass it, house, all this bougie you ass. You gotta shit make a point. He has a huge ego right now. He's Bowen been, is in a propaganda he's been movie. Brainwashed. He doesn't even know it. We know Barry planned all that shit on Mark. Barry's a propaganda. But Asami movie. looks like she's starting. To. I just want to tell you guys. If you guys don't think barracks in the world don't exist, they exist. Yeah. Oh, oh they boy, exist. boy, do they exist. That's why yes, I really, I really like the writing of in this show. Off of weapons. Just letting yeah. you know. The writing in the show is on point because a lot of this stuff does happen. Like, I mean, he went crazy. There's a war like, happening. Someone's pockets are getting deep. We saw his crazy face. He was like, I need your help to make sure they don't get hurt. That was a threat. Oh, yeah, was the threat, threat and everything. Yeah. Like, what the he 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 worded it so perfectly, oh, and yeah. you know Asami He's and clever. Bowen believe Varric too. Like, what do you mean, Varric's such a good guy? He wouldn't do this. He bought my company. Blah, I want to know the story of Varric. Not like, not really a flashback, and I don't. I'm just I'm quick, just curious. I don't know the way. Like, how the hell did this guy? Quick come little, to be. Man, yeah, we we all like related with him. He's like, oh, he's in the movies and stuff. Like, yeah, and he's like, you like, yeah, he was cool. I like him. Yeah, <laughs> and he was like the comic relief basket. character. You know who he's played by? The seize the day guy from Community. Jonathan Adams. Mm, no, there he is. That, that, yep, was. that. Okay, yeah. Yeah, that's I what he's talking about, right, Vasu? No, Vasu. I see it. No, I'm talking about uh, Barrick. Barrick. Oh, yeah. Bbobs. Wow. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Who's yeah, that about? was clever turning the comic relief into <laughs> like full on villain. That's that's mm-hmm. kind of a. I mean, it was subtle, but it was like, oh, that totally makes sense because yeah. he had been doing that shit since the beginning. I felt like yeah. You remember when he ate a pepper and then turned upside down and had Julie write all I did? <laughs> I think Navi should be our Julie. <laughs> <laughs> um. I think that's it, guys. Yeah. Let's pop on the Pookie next one. Pookie. On the next one. Pookie. Let's see Everybody this. Let's see evil. this uh, uh, good animation again. Yes. Oh, they got, this is the last we're episode. Gonna the, we're gonna be in the. They keep saying board. last episode. Yeah. So annoying. This was the last episode of the uh-huh. radio broadcaster. Broadcaster Jeff Bennett. All right, guys. We'll see you guys next Bye. week. Bye. Peace out. Like, comment, subscribe. Hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. Thank you so much for watching The Legend of Korra. This was Season 2, Episode 9, The Guide. Hit the like button. It really helps us out. You can check out early access and uncut episodes on our Patreon. Big shout out to all of our subs and our super patrons. See you guys next time.